previous three videos were ton-in-cheek examples of what aging parents might do to inflict pain and suffering on their well-meaning and adult children. But now let's change the perspective to that adult child with the aging parents. Heck, maybe you're the adult child in the sandwich generation and notice things that are causing you concern. Mail piling up, unpaid bills, medication not taken consistently. What do you do? How do you start the conversation? Because your parents are proud and self-reliant people. And they may not take kindly to comments like they're slipping or they're not as sharp as they once were. Rule one, expect resistance. You're the kid. You'll always be the kid. You might be 60, but you're still the kid. Rule two, maybe you haven't been the most reliable financial adult. Well, consider, they might be suspicious of your intentions. And rule three, it's their money. It's not your inheritance. It might never be your inheritance. So to get started, be honest. You know, maybe start the conversation with an observation. Mom, Dad, couldn't help but notice there's a lot of, like, unpaid, uh, unopened mail piling up in the kitchen counter since I was here last time. Or... Gee, Dad, I noticed that the tags on the car are expired. Can I put the new ones on for you? Or a couple of other conversation starters could be, Mom, is there something I can do to help you organize all this paperwork? Some of it looks important, but some of it just looks like advertisements and junk. Can we go through it together? And what do you do with bills after they've been paid or before they get paid? Do you have some kind of a filing system, or maybe we could set one up? Or how if I did some research, you know, on these dividend checks, on how they could be deposited directly to your bank, you know, just like that Social Security check is deposited directly every month. Or maybe explain that you started having all your utility, water, cable bills paid automatically directly from your bank every month, that way in case you forgot to write the check, you know, the payment wouldn't be late. Mom, Dad, do you think that might be a convenience, you know, for you? Or, um, Dad, seems like you got multiple investment accounts with different companies. Do you remember why you set it up that way? Do you think maybe we could talk to some of these people and kind of coordinate some of this or maybe just decide to consolidate it all with a single advisor? And what would you think if you and I went and met with each of these advisors, you know, the tax, the legal, the insurance, and the investments, I'd like to meet them, and heck, maybe I'll want to do business with them myself. Now, remember, short of medical risk to themselves or cognitive impairment, you cannot and should not force the issue. It's their money and their decisions. You probably benefited from their financial guidance, and one day they may reach a time where they could benefit from yours. But be sensitive. Just as you resented and resisted their guidance, they may resent and resist your suggestions. If you find these ideas helpful and would like more suggestions on similar topics or maybe copies of my newsletter or want to see more videos, go to my website, click on the Education tab. Website's at fwalman.com and my contact information is listed below. Thank you for watching. Give me a call if you got questions.